There's a difference between a leader and a manager. Right. You don't have to be in charge to be a leader. You don't need a title to be a leader. You just need to be a leader. To me, uh, above the door of my office out there, the word servant leader. That's what I do. I help people. I don't tell anybody how to do anything. I'll make suggestions. I'll give them data. I'll give them ideas. I'll ask. I don't force anybody to do anything. I'm trying to create more leaders. And now that you come in as leader, you don't go completely opposite of everything you did. You ask the question, why? Maybe it wasn't clear what anybody was supposed to do. Sit down and write an accountability chart for all the positions. Maybe no one was checking in to make sure anyone did anything. Okay, well, let's have some reports and metrics. Build an organization, right? You're going to run a company one day, so you've got to understand that everyone in your building, a person first, so you got to help them get where they're trying to get, and then a tool or a machine to produce something. If you're programming a machine, what do you got to give it? quality inputs, the right materials, power, all those kind of things. You can't just tell it to do something. You gotta give it all the things it needs to be able to produce that. And that's on you as the leader to figure that out. Well, you've got a lot of people that are like, tell me if you need any help. No, come get something to do and do it. But you've gotta build that culture. For me, I actually do the opposite sometimes with my main staff, is I will limit their time. I'll okay. tell them they only have two hours to do it. And what's funny is they'll still get it done exactly the same. Yeah. The job will expand to fill the container that you put it in. If you give something two days, it'll take you two days. If you give it 20 minutes, you can probably get it done in 20 minutes. The I'll thing is, is they've uh, got to understand that if they don't give it back to you, they failed you. And you as a leader, you got to be in tune to your staff as well. So when you're building your business, you got to be in tune to your people and when they're starting to burn out. you got to listen for those cues. you got to watch for those cues. You'll see it. There'll be the comments and the work and the things going on. You'll notice them up at weird hours and those kind of things. You got to keep an eye out for those people. Because hard driven people are just going to keep going. They'll burn themselves out pretty quick and then you lose them. Right. And then everybody failed. I had a professor do that to me in grad school. I walked in and he was like, you look like hell. He was like, go home. I got your class. Because I was teaching. He was like, I got your class. I'll see you in three days. That was the coolest thing. I went and slept for like 20 straight hours. Yeah. It's because he understood people. He understood what was going on, right? Some profs would have just pushed me to do more work. So you gotta be careful. The leader takes care of their people and their machines and their tools and their equipment, right? Services it, takes care of it, feeds it, waters it, makes sure it has power, right? You can ask yourself in the beginning, if I was them, why would I be acting this way? Let me think about it. Oh, they got two tests this week. You can't put your own framework on them because you don't understand their life because you're not living their life. But if you go put yourselves in their shoes for a minute, maybe you can understand. And I had that recently. Hey, why isn't so-and-so getting their work done? You know they're taking the PE exam in two weeks. They're probably a little stressed. Why don't you go take some work off of their plate? <laughs> why don't you do the opposite and understand your fellow staff and go help them? And in fact, we're all people, Freddie. We all got to help one another and we all got to listen and understand each other. That's how we create a better good by all working together. We're better together than we are apart.